maniacal approach to cycling and to training, but she lifted the sport to another level because everybody had to try to get up to her level instead of her bowing down to another level. And by, by doing that, she has created a whole new generation of riders. And she says, in 10 years' time, what I am as a rider will not be somebody who wins a Grand Tour because we are going to get more specialized every year. Riders will focus on certain races. She, she's won so many races from, from Flanders to Strada Bianca to world titles to Grand Tours, um, mountain stages, time trials, Olympic titles, world titles, European titles, national titles. The Palmares of Annemiek van Vloten is endlessly long. It ends with a win on the 27th of August in the Tour of Scandinavia. That is her 104th and final win. And these are the final few hundred meters of a career of a woman who changed the face of women's cycling in terms of professionalism, but also in terms of humanism. She is human after all. She, she won with grace, but most importantly, she also lost with grace. She was a graceful loser, um, acknowledging that others were better, something that she had to learn throughout her career. But that is a fantastic trait of character. And most importantly, she is one of the biggest champions we ever had in this sport. And the only thing we can say in the final few hundred meters of her career is bedankt. Thank you, well, Annemiek van Floods. Bedankt. Thank you for what you did for this sport. And there's her mum, who said in the article, you weren't really interested in cycling all the way back. For Flo to corrected that on her Twitter account. But her mother, always by her side, and her father, always in, his, in her thoughts. Sadly, she um, couldn't share her career with her dad. But her dad is always in her thought. The earrings, of course, but her mother waiting there what a fantastic what an emotional moment